We also have new drugs like Selenexor, which provide a completely new mode of action. And one of the big things now is how to combine, how to sequence these agents. I'm Hermann Einzelner, I'm based in Würzburg in Germany and I'm now attending the EMN annual meeting here in Athens. So we just had a symposium discussing novel treatments in relapsed refractory multiple myeloma. And one of the big issues, one of the big problems we have is that a lot of our patients are receiving quadruple regimens as first line therapy, triple regimen as second line therapy, and thus we are running out of options. And we know that with conventional treatments, we are only inducing responses in about 30% of patients and that the median progression free survival is around four months. So we really need new drugs. Some of the new drugs that we have are T-cell based therapies like bispecific antibodies, CAR T-cells, but we also have new drugs like Selenexor, which provide a completely new mode of action. And one of the big things now is how to combine, how to sequence these agents. What we know is that if we kind of retreat a patient with a BCMA targeting agent, that often we induce T cell exhaustion, we lose BCMA expression. So we have to restore T cell function and BCMA expression before we actually retreat a patient with a BCMA directed therapy. And here, Selinexor is a very interesting agent because it was shown to restore T-cell fitness, to increase BCMA expression. So I guess that Selinexor is a very interesting agent to be used to kind of bridge patients between BCMA-directed therapies